So these are aggressive, very intense emotions that as children we know and we express them. You know, we cry, we cry. We get angry at people, like, what, what? Or we get really sad, like, oh. Or we get scared, right? And the, the question is, do emotions and anger and aggression and this testosterone-like behavior, is that something that evolution gave us? Or is that something that it took out of us? Now, in the thumbnail, you might have clicked on this video, you know, Jesus Christ, Sermon on the Mount and all that. And, you know, I'm talking about did Jesus Christ take steroids? And I'm going to reveal that towards the you know, middle of this video and then talk about why. But before that, I want to kind of set this up and give you some background. So there was a science paper that I read, 2014 science paper, and talked about how humans have become tamed and domestic, right? Domesticated. So if you own a pet like a cat or a dog or, or whatever, even like seals and, and, and these types of animals are very domesticated. Like you go and you see a Shamu in San Antonio SeaWorld, it's domesticated animals, it's, they're trained. And the question was, if you look at, if you, threw, if you look through evolution at Homo sapien, who, you know, human beings were Homo sapien, and then you look at other species that came before us that belong to the Homo genus, or whatever that is, family, I think it's called a genus, right, before the species. If you look at that and you compare the skulls, right, you also see the skulls of these two in the thumbnail, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you the skulls here as well. There are some physical characteristics that have changed as humans have become domesticated. And in this paper, they talk about, it's a girl, Ann Gibbons, she wrote this paper, it's a science paper, so it's a really, really good journal. Um, and she talks about how you know how we domesticate our cats and dogs, our pets, and sort of the cats and dogs that survived evolution are the ones that were the most, you know, they behaved the most. A dog is the oldest animal uh, that is like, the, you know, the, a loyal human's friend type animal. It's existed even before uh, we had agriculture, you know, so before 12,000 years ago, it was probably like 14,000 years ago, we've still had, uh, you know, dogs as pets and as, as like, you know, they're taking care of us and protecting us. So they looked at certain physical characteristics, and I'm going to tell you what these are. These have changed because of evolution, because human beings have become more tamed. Now, why did I do those emotions in the beginning? It's because if you look at a baby or, you know, a three-year-old, a, a seven-month-old, five, five-year-old, like babies, they have these very intense emotions. You know, they do... Ten, temper tantrums and all this and as we become adults even the evolution of our age we become more tamed through society we start cooperating more we start you know forming coalitions and we start agreeing more and you know in one of the previous papers i talked about cooperation and what it has to do with testosterone and that paper found that people who cooperate tend to you know have higher level of testosterone because they will survive more so so this is a kind of a different study than than the one i talked about so let me tell you some physical characteristics that differentiate us from our previous ancestors reduced jaw okay and that's also a sign of lower testosterone if if you have a very pronounced jaw that's a sign of high testosterone reduced jaw is low testosterone cranial volume so uh, it's basically how much liquid or how much you know uh, something like water your cranium can hold that's cranium cranial volume uh, I mean even the reduced jaw thing like I have seen uh, uh, ads for these products that like you know you like you could like bite on it, it, it gives you a better jawline. So, you know, this is a quite important thing. Another thing that has happened through evolution because we've become tamed is we have more flat faces. And a flat face is characteristic of a feminine like face. So, that's another one. So, basically, what, they're, what this paper showed is that, or, or speculated, is that, and I'll include the link in the description below, it said that as we become more and more domesticated and less aggressive and less able to show our true emotion we become more and more feminized okay another one was uh, lower male aggression smaller brains and lower level of testosterone even that is something that this paper uh, told us so you'll see the diagrams uh, uh, that you know between those two skulls so you'll see those physical characteristics 
Um, now, the paper also showed that perhaps those very intense, crazy type criminal people who, had, who couldn't contain themselves and had to kill rather than cooperate, they probably died in evolution. And that's when it, it comes to Jesus Christ because, you know, the answer is Jesus Christ didn't take steroids because he probably had the testosterone levels of like Superman. Very, very high testosterone. Why? You know, you could, you could look skinny and, and, like, and, and, and not have these big muscles and still have very, very high testosterone like a Jesus Christ. And of course he didn't take steroids because he had naturally endogenous, very high levels of testosterone. Um, and so for Jesus, you know, he formed coalitions, but he was also very aggressive and, and, and you know, he didn't take no for an answer. So one of our guys, Kyle, Kyle Oxford, he's in the Aphrodite Academy. He gave us this entire masterclass on Jesus Christ because he's been following Jesus and his scriptures like since he was a kid. He's very Christian. And he was saying that like Jesus would stand up for himself. He would never uh, like back down. He would always like question and that's why they fucking killed him like they'd killed him in that way because he would stand up to authority he was called he was always cause a ruckus um and and you know he formed these coalitions and he knew exactly how to not be super aggressive and kill everyone and also not to be like a yes man and and be agreeable he he chose that middle route and that's what what i really really want you to focus on and and understand that you know you want to be an alpha male like jesus was you have to be able to form coalitions, cooperate with people, and still be able to express yourself and what you truly believe in. Um, okay, the, an, another thing that they showed an example is like, if you look at chimps versus bonobos, I, had a, I recently talked about a paper where I talked about bonobos and, and how, you know, how, how sexually free they are. Chimps are very aggressive and intense emotion-like. You know, they're, they kill and they're, they're very like caveman style. Whereas bonobos... Uh, they are not like that. They're more peaceful. They're more domesticated. So right, even in our animal kingdom, to species that are very close to us as, you know, our homo sapiens sp species, we even see that already. The, the cause, what happens when animals get domesticated. Um, uh, there was a 1950 study by Russian scientists and they, they looked at, uh, they, they literally breeded animals for tameness, right? So the animals that survived uh, were the ones that were the most tame, right? And that's how they bred these animals because they wanted to produce the offspring, which are very tamed. And they found that uh, even the male part of that species, the male gender, had very feminized faces. So that's also something to keep in mind. Jordan Peterson talks about this a lot in his videos. He says, like, when you face your dark side and when you uh, become more disagreeable and more serious about reality of the world, your face will change and become more like tough and strict and not so innocent. And he said like in his clinical psychology uh, work, whenever a patient came in who was too agreeable, he trained him, Jordan Peterson trained him to stop being so agreeable, start like uh, uh, you know, disagreeing with people and standing up for your own beliefs and then this person's face literally changed throughout this uh, therapy uh, that he did for years with Jordan Peterson. Yeah, so, so one, another interesting thing, uh, like back in the day when males, you know, male jaw and, and, and skulls and, and looked more manly, it was because it was a higher level of testosterone and a higher level of stress. Because in hunter-gatherer societies, you had to go and hunt, you had to be tough, you had to go and kill, right? Because at that time, if you stole someone's wife or if you killed someone in the tribe, they will kill you. There's no O.J. Simpson getting released from prison because he had some really good lawyer, you know, or, or like faked his way out. Or it's not like some politician paid, paid someone off and became corrupt, no. You, you just fucking die. They kill you. And that doesn't happen anymore. Okay? Uh, yeah, so another thing they said towards the end in the discussion is that, look, that doesn't mean man, like human beings aren't savages. We are. We have wars and, 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 and we do torture and cr cruel and unusual punishment. We do all that. But it's more 
coalition, right? You form a coalition, you cooperate, and you do a war together. It's not like, okay, you see someone, you kill him right away. No, you like, you go deeper in, into that. You, you form more organized crime. You, you do it like in a more sophisticated way. That's what makes human beings different from our previous ancestors. Ah, and the mechanism. I'm going to end with the mechanism and then just some few words. So, essentially, you know, they tried to find the mechanism. Why is this happening? What's happening in the brain? So, the, when the brain develops, there's these neural crest cells that form the neural tube. In, 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 in literally, when a baby is born, this starts and then the rest of the brain forms from these neural crest cells. And they say when, we, when a baby becomes domesticated... Uh, or, or, you know, is, 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 is like being trained to become domesticated and agreeable, the formation of these neural crest cells to become, to go to their destination, to become what they are, you know, if they, they become muscle or they become uh, the adrenal cortex, for example, this maturation happens really slowly. And because it's happening very slowly, the, the theory is that uh, there's not enough of development because these neural crest cells cannot get to their destination fast enough because they're developing so slow. So that's why things like the adrenal cortex, where you have not only the production of stress hormones, but the production of testosterone, that will be slowed down. So one theory is that that is the mechanism behind why, you know, us, you know, if you compare us to 12,000 years ago, 50,000 years ago, 80,000 years ago, uh, you know, the men today have lower level of testosterone, uh, compared to those ancestors because we have learned to form these coalitions and not be so aggressive and control our emotions and so on and so forth. So that's what I had for you. Um, comment below and I want to know from you, in your life, have there, be, have there been times when you really, really wanted to do something emotionally or you wanted to express yourself in a very intense way? And you couldn't do it or you didn't do it and you suppress that anger or happiness or sadness or fear, frustration, whatever that is, anger, whatever that was, you suppressed it. And, and, and what did that do to you? Did that serve you well or did you regret it later? Let me know in the comments below. This is Dr. Farhan. I'll see you next time for the next paper and make sure you comment below and let me know the answer to my question. See you guys later. Oh,